Okay, hi everybody, it's me, Bob Can I do do? I know it's not Sunday yet. Well, Tower of God's gonna come. Don't worry. I have two anime series to review. Now, one I wasn't going to do, and the other I said I was going to. Now, the one I was originally going to do, this one's eh, borderline mixed reviews, which I believe is called The Strongest Magician in the Demon Army Was Human. Now, the fault of that show is really just the animation, but I really have a lot to say about it, which is going to come after this video. This review is for this, a very mundane anime, and it's done by the same guy who did Kyoko, which is a very similar, it's very similar to Kyoko, with the whole detective mystery kind of spiel. Now, this one from the season's called, I'm going to picture this name, Chushimi. How to Become Ordinary. Now, my initial thoughts on it, I thought, oh, wow, the animation's beautiful. Very beautiful animation, beautiful scenery. You know? Now, the thing about it is, though, we're following two characters for the majority of the series. It's only like 10 episodes, too. And the majority, majority of the series, I really enjoyed it. Until we got to episode 9 and 10. And then I stopped. I thought to myself, was that? Now, I can't go into too many details because then it's spoiler territory. But logistically, this is his synopsis. Can I spell this guy's first name? Kabuto. Kabuto. Joguro Kobato has a habit of inserting himself into other people's problems. After realizing his detective skills are neither wanted nor appreciated, he makes an agreement with his shy friend Yuki Osana to become ordinary together. Now, during high school, they aim to be perceived as regular people, but Kobato cannot help but fall back into his de deductive ways when faced with everyday mysteries. Fortunately, mundane occurrences are not all the duo stumbles across as they go through their school days trying to avoid drawing attention to themselves. Koto and Osana at times get caught up in instances that put their plan of a peaceful of average life at risk. Now, majority of this series is that. It's mundane mysteries. Nothing too severe. It's pretty schlocky how this happened how that happened how there's an episode about hot cocoa and there's another mystery about pastries it, it's it's strange now but the part of the series for me of this season that made me stop and just I I this Yuki I just looked at her and says, are you really serious right now with what you're doing? Are you really, really serious now? Really? I didn't want to do a review on this series. But after episode 9 and going into episode 10, I was like, what the hell was that? Like, what was that? What are you doing? Now, to go into details, there's an incident in episode 9 that involves Yuki. Well, it's perceived that she got kidnapped. There's a spoiler territory. But that's one of the mysteries. I'm not going to go any further than that. That there's an incident... In episode 9, like I said, kidnapping. 
that goes into episode 10. The way episode 10 ended, I'm not going to lie, it kind of pissed me off. Now, this show is getting a season 2 in April of next year. The way season 1 ended, I'm like, what was the point? What was the actual point for those previous nine episodes? Because in my opinion, now, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, were a waste of time. A complete waste of time. In fact, I'm sorry to people who actually like this character. She can go jump off a cliff. Yuki Osana. She can go jump off a cliff. In fact, I hope what she did in these last two episodes comes to light and she gets burned. Burned for her. Because... This kind of person, I, I don't know. Now, overall, even though I say these things about the Dente, it does bring some intrigue to the series. And it's interesting to see how it goes from here. Because with what happens in episode 10, this guy Kabuto can just say, yeah, okay. Moving on. You know. But I, I can't really specifically say what happens. You gotta see it for yourself. But know that the real meat and potatoes for me, man, of this series is in episode 9 and 10. But just the way it was done, it, I wanted to face palm. So hard. Because it's like, what was the actual point of those previous eight episodes? Because it sounds to me like it, the whole, the whole point, the whole point was, it was a scam. A ruse. It was one person Manipulating, yeah, manipulating a person that they considered a friend to the point where, oh, we're not friends anymore. That's the way I took it. I'm not gonna say who it was, you'll see it in the anime. Rating wise, the series as a whole, I'm not going crazy. I, this gets. I would say an 8 out of 10. It could get a 9 out of 10 if the ending didn't piss me off. But the jury's still out because this is getting another season. And with the way episode 10 end, it just, I'm like, really? That's what we're doing? So, what was the point of that whole thing. Oh, by the way, let's clear the air here. These two characters, they were not romance. There was no romance. They weren't romantically involved. They were not boyfriend and girlfriend. They were just friends. They were just friends. Throughout the entire series. Yet yeah, we're... They, they were... No, they weren't. They weren't going out. They weren't on a date. They didn't kiss. I'll probably put spoiler warning in this video because, you know, I kind of want to tell you what happens in the end, but I, I'll just say mild spoiler. But it's just, it, I, and the thing is, like I said, the same creator did this other series that to me is a lot better. So this only gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Go see if you guys get a chance. For me, the selling point is the animation. The downside is what they did in episode 9 and 10. And it's just... 
which is just me. And okay, so you do this, and now where's you go from here? Th to be honest, I don't know how you can go from here because the way it's going, Yuki, she's finished. Okay, I, I don't care what anyone says, she's finished because if what she did in episode nine into ten. Comes to life, she might be. Poor. She's in deep shit. That's what I gotta say. She'll be in deep, deep shit. And I hope Kabuto looks the other way and walks away. If she gets in trouble, just walk away. Don't don't associate with this woman. She is a conniving little. Beep. Take it or leave it. It's been Baka 922. It's a good series, people, but it's not great. That ending, I'm sorry. Put it down, Tweety. I'll see you guys later.